Hey all you out there, Jason C on the set of One Tree Hill, chilling here in Sophia's kitchen. Wow, really? Like, Hillary, I'm sorry, you know. It's not like you, I don't live here or anything. It's Sophia's <laughs> kitchen. Sophia's kitchen, and, and, and I run no, into you. It's good. Have some coffee. I do all the uh, the cooking, so <laughs> no, it's fine. It's her kitchen. Cool. They left us with quite the cliffhanger. Did we? Yeah, I mean, just all of a sudden, three girls pick up the phone at the same time. Which you girls want to go to, to Vegas? Do? Yeah. Yeah. Who what, doesn't love Vegas? I, I know you're not going to tell me anything, but what would you do if it were Peyton? I mean, would you be? Are you excited about that storyline? If, oh, if that were to happen. If that were to happen, it would mean I would have an entire season of makeout ahead of me. With Which, CMM. Given the alternative of an entire season of tears, <laughs> make out yeah, tears. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You didn't get to make out much last season, did you? Not so much. And mm. when I did, it was always so scandalous. <laughs> so, um, see, I'm looking for some validated make out. There you go. Um, there you go. Especially so, with Chad. You know, we're just that, super that was, in love. That would no work denying for you, huh? it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the word on the street is that One Tree Hill is going a little dark this season. What? Never us? I heard that from the, 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 the man, the writer himself. Really? Um, the writer meaning Chad Michael Murray, because I heard he wrote an episode. Oh, yeah. Movie. No, he did. I'm so proud of him. You know, yeah. it's like you, you can only show up in, um, and mope or weep or make mm -hmm. out for so many years <laughs> before you really want to stretch your creative muscles. And uh -huh, so, uh -huh. you know, Chad wrote an episode. He's going to direct one. Uh -huh. Joy's directing an episode. Paul already has directed a bunch of episodes. So mm -hmm. it's awesome to watch, you know, these people that have been a part of your universe for so many years right. grow and evolve and um, and try new things. And so... Any chance of you putting pen to paper? <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually, I'm writing a novel right now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I do all my stuff on the sly. What, what, what do you do for fun? Talk to me about Hillary here Can in I Wilmington. Can I talk about that? On no, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm friends <laughs> with a bunch it. of... I'm totally friends with a bunch of writers and things. Uh -huh. um, so uh -huh. we geek out and... You know, do poetry readings oh, and yeah. maybe some landscaping. You know how much I love digging holes. Is there? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about you, but <laughs> yeah, that's where I get these guns from. Um, so, so is yeah. there a lot of that community here in Wilmington? Yeah, I mean, the mo I love hanging out with our, our crew and our cast and everything. But the great part about living in Wilmington is that there is a normal community here, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and so you know, all my friends are. LA. Yeah, they're, you know, they're all like the improv comedy kids from downtown or um, writers and stuff like that. And so mm -hmm. we have a good time okay. being artsy, totally being nerdy. Artsy. Um, we got some fan questions and we got to get them out. Right. So Penny Lane wants to know what celebrity you go gaga for. What do you go fangirl is what she said. Fangirl? What celebrity do I go fangirl for? Like Mine that I want to kiss or Hillary something? Burton. Oh, oh uh, my God. Um, You were no. such a flirt. I oh, am. Yeah. Um, who do I geek out on? Um, I, yeah. Even admire, I guess. I, mean, I like yeah. funny boys. Okay. I like, you know, pretty much anybody that was in Freaks or Geeks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Note boys. to self, be funny, well, be flirt funny, more. Be funny, yeah, for once. <laughs> um, freaks and Geeks, yeah. Anybody that was in that show, like, I'm probably going to kiss them at some point. <laughs> okay. It's just life goals. I um, like that you're not giving the traditional answer of, yeah, Robert De Niro, because he's so great, or Meryl Streep, because she's so... What's all that talent? Whatever. No, no, exactly. no. I want to laugh. Make me laugh. <laughs> Make me laugh. That's what I want. Katie wants to know, how, where do you see Peyton at the end of the series? Um, <laughs> in a shallow <laughs> grave. Um, no, I don't know what's going to happen to Peyton. Well, I think it all depends on what happens in the season premiere, don't uh -huh, you? Uh -huh. I Wonder could get somewhere. married. I could not get married. I could... Uh, I could get pregnant, I could not get pregnant, I could get hit by a bus, I could not get hit by a bus. <laughs> Who's one tell? option. What would I want to happen? Yeah. Um, Give us a, uh, remember how we did the yeah, fast okay. forward, so, 20 years, whatever. So in the series finale. 20 years from now. Peyton uh, walks into her house and her dad Larry is there and Ellie has come back from the dead and her biological father is there and we finally see for the first time her adoptive mother who's also come back from the dead. Not like zombies but like, right. you know, fleshy angels or something okay, neat. Okay. And then, Not dreamy either. And then Loretta Lynn and Dolly Parton are her grandmas, okay. and Elvis Costello is her uncle Elvis, uh -huh, and uh -huh. they have just this great big family reunion, and it's awesome.